Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to make some simple plywood shelves hung on ledgers for this closet. Let's go. So with just a few tools and a chop saw, uh, this is a pretty easy build. I ended up getting some plywood cut pieces from the Home Depot. If you go to the back where the full sheets of plywood are, are you'll find some sheets that are cut in half. This, these are 2 by 4s which is exactly the size that I needed in that closet. So I just bought them. They're 3 quarter inch thick and they are, I believe, they're birch. So 3 quarter inch birch plywood will work perfect for what I need it to, for, for my needs. And I also got these square pieces. They are inch and a half by inch and a half by eight that I will cut up on the chop saw as the ledger. Other than that, you just need a, a few things, a pencil, you know, a screw gun. This is a uh, spiral bit with a countersink on it. Some long screws, maybe three inch or so, so you can get through the wood, the drywall, and into the, the stud tape measure and a stud finder. And that should be it. I think with all those tools, you can get this job done. If you have to improvise, I mean, so be it. Everybody has to sometimes. Let's have at it. All right, so I'm just gonna put two shelves in here because I can put some larger items on here um, and leave the bottom open to put, I have a guitar amp and some other weird stuff just to stack in the bottom. So first thing I wanna do is measure out and find all the studs. Rule of thumb, there's usually studs in the corners. That's where the, the corner of the wall meets. Just a little FYI. I'm gonna chop this uh, one and a half inch square stock into 24 inch pieces. I need four of them for the side ledgers and then I have another piece I'm just going to cut in half for the back ledger. That's it. Let's pop them on. Alright, so I'm just going to check the, check the line, make sure it's level. Now I'm just gonna use my spiral bit and take my uh, square block and I'm gonna drill in my countersink holes. Now I'll just take my long three inch screws and I will put them in the their little hole like so. Kind of starting with my finger and fasten it down. All right, so same thing. I'm just gonna mark off with the level, level with this, 20 inches down, and I'll uh, screw this ledger. Again, I'll just put the, I'll get the screw started uh, with my fingers first, like so. Alright, here I am with my shelf and I am going to slip it in here. Perfect. So I'm actually going to screw it off to the side ledgers and that'll keep it from, that'll kind of hold it. Uh, tensile so it won't sag in the middle as much. That's it. Uh, the next one I don't have to show you. It's the same thing. It's just going 12 inches below but uh, it's pretty simple. If you if it is if if you do find that your shelf is sagging too much you can put a ledger on the back which actually you know I am going to put a ledger on the back. Okay so all I'm going to do is measure the distance between the two and it's 46 and a half. I'm gonna go 46 and a half a little shy so I know it I know it fits after one cut. Usually studs are 16 inches on center so it kind of lets you know how far out from the wall you need to start using your stud finder but sometimes 
they're a lot closer. It depends on kind of the age of the house and who built it. All right, that's it. Now I'm gonna put the shelf in. Perfect, that's it. So I don't think I need to show you the second shelf because it's the same thing again. And this is gonna work perfect. If it feels a little too flimsy in the front, you can always take a piece of the square block and attach it across the front here, edge. You know what, I'm gonna do that. No, actually not. No, I think it's good. All right, last thing I have to do is drill the hole for the surge protector I'm gonna put in. Uh, the, only one you make you, the only thing you wanna make sure is that the bit that you have is, you know, bigger than the plug. So when you, obviously. All right. All right, that's it. Those are my shelves. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Have a great day.